Oh my god. Oh, what what the hell's going on? I don't even know. I think we're winning. That's that's the important part. How's it going, guys? Dre here and welcome back to Bad North. Now, today we're going to be obviously continuing our way rightward as that's all we can do in this game and uh yeah, it's going quite well so far. Had a few scares in the last episode, but nothing too crazy that we can't deal with. Next up, uh, I'm thinking, well, I might actually lose Sose here. I'm not really big on getting as many commanders as possible anyways. I want to focus on my Prime 4 here and making them as strong as possible. But obviously getting an, an, another platoon of commanders would be really, really useful. So I think I'm going to try and go to Tunker here and hopefully Sose does not go away in the next one. It is further forward than these two, so I think these two will probably be the ones that go away. So I think we should be okay to get this. Uh, then we'll obviously have to make our way up to Langholm and try and get everything else in between if we do get lucky. So yeah, that's the plan, Stan. Let's get it done and uh, hopefully it goes well today. So Tunker's first. It looks like there's going to be quite a bit of gold here and we're definitely getting into storm territory as you can... What? Uh... Oh, I didn't sleep. Okay, thank God you can do that. By the way, you can go back to the map. Because that would have sucked. I would have probably lost those two units. So, yeah, let's sleep first. Oh, crap. And that means now now we're definitely not going to get so say. My bad, guys. I totally just wasted your time. But uh, I thought we already slept. So, uh, yeah, I guess RIP so say. I don't think we're going to get there in time. We're going to go to Skillowick next and unlock the rest of these. That's fine. I didn't need that commander anyways, and this looks like a much nicer place to defend. So yeah, these boats seem to be coming so much faster, and then every now and then you get a nice lull like this so you can, you know, prepare for the onslaught that's going to come after this. All right, so, oh crap, that's going to be a bad one. Oh, uh, I, <laughs> God, that's not good. Okay, well, this one's starting off a little bit rough, but as long as we don't lose that house, we should be okay. And get the final guy, come on. Archers, come on, hit him. Oh, please don't tell me you missed, because then I gotta deal with this guy. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, come on, just shoot him. All right, this might be a perfect ground stop t territory here. This is good. This guy's gonna be dealt with, so all we gotta worry about is this big troop here. Looks like my archers are gonna take out the vast majority of them, too. There we go. They're on the ground, and they're in the... Never mind, I didn't realize they could get through there. Damn it! I just wanted a good ground stop. Oh, God, don't, don't destroy this. Come on, there we go. Take him down. Oh, that was a rough one, man. It wasn't, it wasn't like I was going to die, but everything just wasn't working out for me. Goddamn Skillowick. All right, again, like I said, it's all about Owen right now. We need four more gold for Owen. Then we need 20 gold for Devin, and we got them all. Actually, no, sorry, Kel Kelvin. All right, we'll go to the next one and figure out what we want to do from here. So Sose is going to go away before I can even grab it. So unfortunately, we've lost that commander. Uh, that's fine. Like I said, I'm not big on getting as many commanders as possible. I just want to get as much gold as possible. So let's go to Fraggle, and then we'll unlock Lundy, uh, because I think that might be one more gold. Hard to tell, though. Ooh, this looks like a very dark island. I don't know if I like it. I like these walls, though. That means I don't need to worry about that. I think I've been to this island or something very similar because I used to have this staircase. Whatever way I look at it, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge here. The biggest thing is I want to make sure this house is okay and that's going to be a prime focus. So now it's time to destroy you all. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. We had a, a couple that got away. This guy, of course, is going to try and take out the house, but no chance. Archer should be able to take out a lot of them too. Oh my god! I didn't realize that was a way up. Oh crap. I'm so sorry, Archer. Just give me a second to get up there. Oh, you guys held out just fine anyways. Look at that. Well, you're, you're, not, you're not doing too good. Let's like you rest for a little bit. Whew, that was a little scary. Final wave is incoming. I hope I don't regret doing this with the pikemen, but they should be able to get a few hits in. And slicey dicey. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? Let's try that again. I wonder if the pikemen are really good against boats, like once they first hit the land. So I want to see how much damage these guys can do. I'll bring the archers as close as possible. And just in case these guys need help, we'll bring these guys over as well. All right, here we go. Slice and dice. Oh, yeah. Look at the amount of damage they just did. Uh, pikemen, if you can get them in position, are extremely useful. All right, that should mean we got an epic unit, right? Yeah, we only needed four. So there we go, our next epic unit. And then Kelvin is next, so working our way towards him. Oh, that feels good, having almost a full epic crew. Obviously, that was my major goal, and uh, we're making our way there. So goodbye, Sose. I really am mad that I missed that. We are missing a few of these now, so here's my predicament. I could have tried to focus on getting two teams of veteran troops, or I could have went for one epic team. And I feel like the epic uh, strategy is much better, because epic units are just so much more better than veterans. So some people might have probably suggested in the comments that I went for two ve ve veteran troops. 
or two veteran fleets of troops. But I feel like I would have slowly died in doing that, so I really want to get one team of epics before I do anything else. That's my main focus, and which is why I'm doing that. Ah, uh, so I'm thinking... You know what? I want to get a little bit ahead of the tide, so because I want to make sure I get both this item and this unit over here. So I'm going to let these two go away just to get a little bit ahead. All right, now we got some epic archers here. Let's see what these bad boys look like. I don't have I had yeah I've had epic archers before. Uh, they look pretty damn awesome, so that's good. And uh, I didn't really look at this island. Not like it's going to be too hard, I don't think. And I believe this was the final wave, so we're pretty good to go. Again, some rather small boats for the final wave here. There we go. And the pikemen are helping out, man. It's nice to see the pikemen actually getting some action. There we go. Lundy is done, and that should unlock a lot of the map. Decent amount of money, too. Not bad. We got, what, three, six, eight. So that's pretty good. Uh, we're getting closer. That's for damn sure. Oh, wait. Am I not even... Is this guy not even a veteran? Oh, wait, no, that's the uh, upgrade for the item. Okay, so I thought for a second here I was playing with the pikemen. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, I can upgrade the items as well, which we might definitely do, at least for Felice. But getting the epic's more important, at least for right now, so we're going to focus on that. There we go. We unlocked everything, so next up I'm going to hit Vigor so we can get the Lang quickly. Uh, but I also want to get Ragged Rock before the uh, tide comes in. I love how dark the uh, islands are now. I don't know why this happens, but I'm assuming we're getting deeper into dangerous territory, and that's kind of what it's talking about. But, uh, yeah, here we go. So next up will be the item after this island. We just have to hold out here quite well. And, oh, my God. Oh, what what the hell's going on? I don't even know. I think we're winning. That, that's the important part. Holy crap. Look at this. Okay, this might be bad. This might be real bad. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to die or anything. I just don't want to lose a house. Come on. Come, get these guys down. What are you guys doing over here? Whew, that was close, man. I thought I was going to lose that thing. Well, we held out quite well, just judging by the sheer amount of boats. That was uh, that was a really fun one. All right, let's go. Oh, two more, two more. That's all we need, and then we have all the epics. Well, as long as wealth doesn't go away, we should be good. And I want to focus on getting Lang right now. So, yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Get a free item. Well, not free. We kind of have to fight for it, but, yeah, you get the idea. So, this looks like... This is a nice island. This is the kind of island I like. Pretty damn easy to deal with. We just got our front little beach here, and that's it. And then a choke point over here, actually, which is perfect for us. All right. So this should be easy, assuming we don't get a huge wave of enemies. Rather small final wave once again. These guys ain't going to last long. We got three left. These guys are throwing fire right when they make it on the island, man. That, that could be bad. They could definitely take out a house if they did that enough. But we got it. We got Langholm. And that means we got another epic unit, and that is good. Now I gotta decide what I wanna go to next. Oh yeah, and we got an item too, we got the Warhorn. Uh, that's the one that immediately brings more troops in, so that could actually be really useful, considering now this guy's an epic. So next up, I think we'll focus on Felice, because uh, I wanna upgrade his item, his ring, so we get more troops in his uh, unit. So that's where we're going to throw the extra six gold. All right, and we made it. We're going to at least get the next commander because we got Weltog down here, and we can hit up Ragged Rock. Actually, we could go this way as well if we want to. So what is more profitable? Definitely Weltog, so I'm glad we didn't miss that one. All right, what are we looking at here? It looks like they can get up both ways, so this is actually be a kind of a hard island to defend. We got two different areas pretty much spread out, and is that... I can't tell if that's a way to get up. We definitely have some walkways here, so... This could be an interesting one. We should be okay, though, hopefully. Uh, this is great. I have this held, and they can't do anything but go towards my pikemen, so... I'm not even gonna move! I'm good here. Plus, they're all melee, so they gotta come to us. Oh, oh, they're using their shields a little bit. Oh my god, look at the pikemen. They're so good if you can get them in the right position. They just took down that unit in seconds. That was great. Alright, some more money for Felice. We might... Oh, did we get the upgrade? Uh, that's just the upgrade for the, uh, attack, but I want the upgrade for his item. Ragged Rock, though, that's an important one. Let's get it done. Oh, we got a lot of flora on this island. Look at this. What's up with all the freaking cemeteries, though? It's, it, it has to mean we're getting further and deeper into this game. I don't know what the end of this game has, and I'm very curious. And archers, get shooting, man. You got lots of guys to kill over here. There we go. Oh, yeah. I love them. Ep epic archers are great. Look at that. They're going to get the whole freaking boat. There was only two left. That was amazing. And Pikeman. Oh, 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 oh. Pikeman didn't do as well as I thought they would. Uh, let's actually put these Pikeman inside this house. Because... Oh, God. They might die. Oh, God damn it. Are you serious? I just lost like... So I think because that unit died, I totally used lose that unit now. It wasn't my unit. It was the unit I was trying to get. 
But that still really, really sucks. Now I gotta deal with all this with only three units. Oh, crap, the big guys are here. Oh, shit. Um, all right, we're gonna bring these guys down. I'm gonna have to, I think, put these guys up here. Because I think the pikemen are gonna try and get my archers. Uh, we'll see here. They're slow. Oh, God. Pikemen, hit them. Hit them, pikemen. Yes! Okay, that worked out. I judged where they would go. And we did okay. I lost my damn unit, though. Oh, that's frustrating, because I did want to start getting a collection of units. All right, well, my bad, I guess. Uh, now, where do we want to put the money next? I'm thinking on Devin, because he's got the uh, the other item that I want to upgrade. So, yeah, we're going to do that. That really sucks. R.I.P. Finbar. We didn't even get to use him. Uh, wow, that really... Ah, so frustrating when you do small mistakes in this game, because they can really hurt over time. All right, so I think next up is going to be scary because uh, it's got a lot of houses on it, and I need gold. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Ah, n a nice snowy landscape here. This one looks rather easy to hold out. We got stairs. Actually, no, it's actually deceptively going to be ch kind of challenging. We got lots of different stairs up. Okay, and hopefully I'm not seeing this wrong, and these guys are trapped over here because if they're not trapped, that would be scary. But, yeah, they, they have nowhere to go but over towards the sticks, and uh, the sticks they don't like. Sweet. We did it. Scary is gone. This should be a decent money uh, yield for this island, too. Actually, these are only twos? Oh, man, that's way less than I thought. We only got eight. Interesting. The upgrade for uh, the Warhammer is way cheaper than the ring, so that's, it obviously acknowledges that this is an inferior item compared to the other one. So I don't even know what to do with the rest of this gold. I'm going to put it on Owen and hope that Owen gets the ring so I can utilize this money to upgrade the ring as quickly as possible. I don't know if that will happen or not, but... Uh, I think it'd be fun to try, and hopefully we get lucky, because we're going to go to Sadhe here. And if Sadhe does us right, uh, we're going we're gonna to get a ring for Owen, and that would be amazing. I can only hope. Actually, you know what? Before we hit up Sadhe, before this one leaves, going again over here it looks really, really good. So I'd rather get this money if I can. Uh, and, well, we're not in a rush, because Sadhe is going to be definitely a, an island we're able to go to. All right, so here they come, the final two. These guys are dead. Oh, I did this a bit late, but we're still hopefully be able to... Oh, my God. <laughs> that guy's going to go over there, though. Thankfully, we got the pikemen to deal with it. Oh, one guy snuck away. Oh, no. There we go. We got it. Gulligan. This one was all for the money. Hopefully, it was worth it. How much did we get? Oh, man, not bad, not bad. Six, nine. So nine usually is about the highest that I've seen. Crap, I forgot to upgrade Devin's thing once again, so I don't even know where I'm going to spend my money. Oh, yeah, Owen. Let's uh, get that upgrade done. And it looks like we need a two more to... Oh, actually, Owen doesn't even have an item yet. But when she does get an item, we're sure going to be able to use that gold. Hopefully, she gets an item, though, because that'd be a wasted amount of gold if we do not get to utilize that. But she doesn't have an item yet, and she'll definitely have one uh, soon. So, that one's done. Now we can actually get over to the item, and this is the one I'm excited about. I really hope we can get a ring. If we can't, I hope it's at least something decent. Let's go for it, though. And, uh, yeah, see what we can do. Oh, man, look at the size of this island. Okay, so looks relatively easy, though, to hold out. We'll see here. Let's just deploy and see what happens. So much of this game is unit placement. That's quickly what I'm realizing is it's all about where you place your units. And if you place them right, things like this happen, and it's easy. These guys they are actually fighting quite well over here, as you can see. Putting up a real good fight. Goddamn, guys. Do you guys get stronger? What the hell was that? I'm going to have to regen this unit. That's crazy. I've never had that hard of a time with a, a, a basic small unit. But watch this. <laughs> oh, my God. That is the death stairs if I've ever seen them. All right, big boys. Feel free to go into my pointy points and die, please. Thank you very much. That was amazing. They look so easy when you're fighting them with pikemen. And let them defend against these guys that come in. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Oh, the pikemen I'm liking more and more. Oh, crap. I'm too busy watching the pikemen. I didn't realize one guy got away. Come here. Come on, you little jerk. There we go. Give me a ring. Please. That's all I want is a ring. I don't care about anything else. I swear to God, if I get another Warhammer, I'm going to be so mad. What did I get? Yes. Yes. RNG gods be with. I got my ring. And now we can upgrade that ring right away. Talk about lucky. Uh, I'm <laughs> I took a risk there giving Owen so much gold, but it is worth it. And what am I doing with Devin? I don't remember what I'm doing with Devin to have the 10 gold, so we'll just we'll just throw the rest of the gold on there. I have no idea. 
Actually, you know what? Devin already has all his upgrades. I'm not really sure what I'm using the money for. Is De Devin's an epic, right? I'm not crazy. So let's just put it on Kelvin and get him uh, working towards an upgrade as well. So yeah, we should have a lot of upgrades in the near future. So that's good. All right, but that's what I was talking about. Now we can put the ring on here and upgrade it right away. Like, talk about lucky. Upgrade it. Yeah, now we got a serious troop of archers. And I think we'll work towards the arrow volley as well because that's a really good upgrade. Now, Devin, I don't really know what I was doing with this 10 gold. So I guess I could just upgrade a stomp. I could also do the charge. You know what? I think I'm going to buy the charge. Let's start getting some of the actual uh, utilities. So we're doing really good here. We got items for all my main troops, and I still have a really good item, the Warhorn. Like I said, I'm going to start working on a second fleet of commanders now because these guys are almost maxed, I would say. Uh, obviously, we got really unlucky getting commanders, though, so we got to get lucky and get two more. Gweltog is coming up. We should hopefully, assuming we, nothing goes wrong, get that guy, and then hopefully one is in the very near future. So yeah, we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. We got uh, all epics now, and every uh, one of my epics has an item. So these guys are some really strong units. That's what I wanted, and it looks like we're kind of thinning out here. So we'll see what happens in the fog of war in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.